This has got to be one of the wildest facts I've ever seen. Start with a one kilogram block sliding on a frictionless plane. If it hits another one kilogram block, assuming perfectly elastic collisions, it transfers all of its momentum. And what we're going to do is put an immovable wall to the left that this second block can bounce off of. And for this simple example, there are three total collisions. It gets interesting when we make that first block bigger, say 100 kilograms. In this case, it retains much more of its momentum with each collision, so it takes many more bounces before it gets turned around completely. And in total, the way it works out here, we end up with 31 collisions. If it's even bigger, say 10,000 kilograms, and with all of our idealizing assumptions where no energy is lost and things like that, if you work it out exactly, the total number is 314 collisions. As you keep increasing the mass of that big block by powers of 100, the digits in the number of collisions will always, always match the starting digits of pi.